and uh, uh, you are the wearers of the shoes, we'll be very uh, happy to hear from you over that. The other issue, of course, uh, you have proposed uh, uh, increment from, uh, I think, up to 45%. Uh, I think there had been a BBI proposal that had gone through, I think, most of your county assemblies. And uh, I think there had been some build-up of consensus around uh, 35%. But your proposal is actually beyond that. You're, you're looking at 45%, I think. It would be good to, to, to hear your justification on that. Uh, though, as your former minister, I would uh, really support, in fact, the more resources to the counties. Uh, I think uh, you are shouldering the greatest responsibilities in terms of uh, the big four. You are the ones on the ground actually carrying everything. And I uh, would like to see that process that uh, uh, is ongoing of ensuring that uh, you know all the work functions uh, come to you, and uh, of course uh, resources follow the functions. I think, I think that is a very interesting proposal. We would like to hear more about the justification. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mark. Mine would just be one or two issues that were raised, following up on what Eugene has said. When you are like a counterpart, access of uh, devolution. The MCAs were here. They want us to create a World Development Fund. We want to hear some of your opinions about it. Secondly, there is a lot of uh, allegations about the independence of county assemblies. So I also want to get a bit of, of your view about what you think about these issues on uh, of financial autonomy particularly of uh, county assemblies. Uh, thirdly, that the, these 27 or so counties that are or 20 gov uh, members of parliament who have been here without pointing any fingers talk about the inclusivity issue. They say the reason they're asking for their little enclaves is because some of you as governors have deliberately marginalized them in your own counties. So as you build an inclusivity question or conversation in Nairobi at the national government uh, is the, count, the that county the COG trying in its own regard also to build an inclusivity discussion or discourse internally or even in terms of peer peer mentoring that uh, we there's a lot of uh, allegations of nepotism clanism tribalism uh, so these small little groups are saying when you are a governor from Clan X, you exclude Clan Y. And the last one, of these, these amendments you have proposed, are there any that require a referendum? Okay, 